What up everyone, Matt here, and today we're gonna check out the latest plugin from Native Instruments, Melted Vibes. Melted Vibes is your go-to instrument for detuned melodies and warped grooves that hype the vibes and soak up the spotlight. It comes packed with pads, plucks, and keys recorded with legendary preamps and iconic synthesizers. With a range of ways to add your own touches of character from reverb and chorus effects to sequence modulation and a custom designed melt dial, there's loads of scope to squeeze even more juice from the sounds. First, let's check out some of these previews. There's a lot of cool previews in here. Now I'm gonna do an overview of the plugins menus. The main page of the instrument gives you a simple interface designed to help you focus on playing. Quickly tweak sounds using the six assignable macro knobs. The sound editor page lets you modify the individual sound sources A and B, giving you access to tuning, filters, panning, and envelopes. Customize the effects chains of any preset with the effects editor. Quickly swap out effects using the drop down menu or change the order via drag and drop. Generate ideas with the flexible 16 step sequencer. You can also modulate up to six assignable macros, such as a filter or distortion. Assigning macros is super simple. Click the dot above the macro and then click the knob to assign it. Edit the assigned macro controls, control parameter ranges, change macro mappings, and create your own custom controls from one dedicated page. The colored macro dots give you visual feedback on your mappings for maximum ease of use. Customize the instrument your way from the settings page. Edit key ranges, adjust velocity curves, and more. All right, now that we know the plugin, I got machine loaded up to make a quick drum beat and a few presets for Melted Vibes, and we're gonna make a track. Now let's add some note repeat hi-hats. You can easily change the note rate by using the top buttons. And I'm also going to add an open hat. All right, we got that in there. I'm going to change this from the ideas mode to the timeline view so we can lay out our sequence. I'm going to select my pattern and double it to make it four measures. Then back on machine, I'm going to duplicate the pattern. On the first pattern, I'm going to take out the open hi-hats by going to events hitting select, selecting the pad, and then clearing them. Let's record this synth for Melted Vibes. Sweet, we got that in there. I'm gonna cut it right here and bounce it in place so we can manipulate it as audio. With my scissor tool selected, I'm gonna hold option and click and it'll slice the entire region into perfect divisions. I'm gonna select them all, reverse them and add some fades. Let's play this back. Great, sounds good. Now I'm gonna add a plugin called Vinyl from Isotope to give it an old school lo-fi feel. I'm also gonna add Valhalla Verb just to give it some space and make it flow. Our lead synth is sounding good, let's add some 808. Let's go to pattern, double it, and make it four measures. And I'm gonna add some auxiliary snares at the end. Let's turn note repeat on. I'm gonna use perform effects on the entire group to do a stop down right before the downbeat. We'll switch this to the scratcher. I'm gonna turn the frequency shifter off and let's automate this.
One cool thing I like to do is use clips to create breaks in my drums. Okay, last thing I wanna do is use the synth and reverse it to make a build up. I'm gonna to go to the effects tab and change the reverb to huge hall. Then we'll adjust some parameters to make the decay longer. Let's trigger this on the downbeat. Perfect, now I'm gonna bounce this in place, shave off a little from the top, we'll reverse it, put a fade on it. I'm also gonna add some reverb so the tail hangs over. Let's duplicate the synths to the downbeats and the reverses leading up to them. Cool, let's play this back and see what we got. And that's Melted Vibes. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. And let me know what you want to see next. Check it out at nativeinstruments.com.